In this example, we, we are going to use the this method to derive the volume of a cone. So we're going to assume that h is equal to the height of the cone and r is equal to the radius of this cone. Okay, so, we, so to do this, we're going to have, okay, we're going to take this line here and, okay, rotate that around the x-axis, okay. And so the corresponding region for that is going to give us the shape of a, it's going to give us the volume of a cone, okay. All right, so, all right, so here's, okay, so here's the region being defined, okay. And we're going to take this and rotate around the x-axis, okay. All right, and so we're going to assume that this cone has a height of h. Okay, and we're going to call this R. Okay, so this is the radius of our cone. Okay. All right, so we need to we need to do this. We need to come up with a function of this line here. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're gonna have. Uh, we need to find the first find the equation of our line. Okay. Okay. This line is going is starting from the origin. Okay. So that means it's going to have a y-intercept of zero. Okay, so we need so we need to use our slope. Okay, we need to use the slope to find the equation of the line. So at this point here, okay, at this point, right, this is going to be h comma r. That's where this coordinate is. Okay. So that means for this line, the slope is going to be equal to. Okay, we're going to go up r and over h. So it's a slope of r over h. Okay, so that means the equation of our line is going to be r over h times x. And again, this line is going through the origin, so it has a it has a y-intercept of zero. Okay, so that is our that's the uh, function. Okay. Okay, so we have. Okay, so this is going to be our function r over h times x. Okay. And we have our represented piece inside here. Okay, so that means our integral has to be in terms of x, which which we already have. Okay. And so okay, and this piece is going right, it's going to start from zero and go to h. Okay. So now we can go ahead and set up the volume, set up the integral for our volume. So we're going to have pi times the integral, okay, going from 0 to h, okay. And r of x, remember r of x is going to be, right, so it's the distance from the x-axis to this line, which we know, and which is our function, okay. So our function is r over h times x, okay. So that's the distance of this represented piece. Okay, so we're going to have r over h times x squared. Okay, so this is going to give us, right, so we're going to evaluate this. This is going to give us the volume of our cone. Okay, so this is equal to pi times the integral going from 0 to h of r squared over h squared times x squared. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and evaluate this integral. So we can pull out the r squared over h. Those are r and h are constants. So we have the integral from 0 to h of x squared. Okay, so taking the integral of x squared, okay, we're going to get x cubed over 3. So we have pi times r squared over h squared times 
one third x cubed. Okay. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and evaluate this from zero to h. So we're gonna have r squared over h squared times one third h cubed. And plugging in zero, okay, it's gonna give us zero. So we end up getting uh, we have h squared h cubed over h squared, that's gonna leave us with an h. So we have one third some pi here. So we have one third pi times r squared times h. So that gives us the volume of a cone. Okay, so one third pi r squared h. Okay, and this will be units cubed since we're dealing with volume. Okay. So again, we start with, okay, we have the line here. We found the equation of that line, okay, because we know this, uh, we're assuming that the height of the cone is h and the radius of that cone is r. So that means this coordinate, we have a coordinate here, h, r. So that tells us the slope is r over h. And then from there, we get the equation of the line. That's going to, we're gonna use that for the represented piece, okay, because that's the distance from the x-axis to the point on the, on the on the line, okay, plug that into the volume equation to this volume integral, and we evaluate it, okay, simplify it, evaluate from zero to h, we end up with the volume of the cone, okay. So we could have done this, uh, we could also set this up slightly different. Um, we could have rotated this around the y axis, but then our integral would be in terms of y, but we would end up getting the same, uh, the same, uh, the same value. Okay, the same, the same formula. Okay.